In this segment, we are going to look into a starter web application. This web application is built using Spring, Hibernate, jQuery, and Tiles. So these are the different frameworks that are used here for security to use Spring security. So and this code is hosted at GitHub. So let's go to this location. So once you go to this location, you will see a different projects here. The project that is of interest to us is this Spring Hibernate web app. So let's see how we can do that one. So we can we just go inside it in artifacts. Top. There is a setup context. So before you go ahead and start using this application you need to have some basic environment in place so it, this application is tested with java 8 maven 3 plus and postgresql 9.4 plus version then first thing you need to do is that clone the repository so for that you need a good client so you, you can use any of the client or, uh, or even if you are in eclipse environment you can you can have a git uh, uh, basically git plugin here so for me in this case the git plugin is here that i am using in eclipse so once you clone that one, uh, you will see that in the directory where the git repository is created, you will see all the projects now. So let's go inside this project. So you will see this is a Maven based project, the com.xml is here. So before using this application, we need to create a database. So for that, I can just run this command. database will get created so, and this database is already configured then I can go inside artifacts SQL and here you will see two SQL files so, then we have to run them in sequence for schema and then master data so, I can do SQL plus and then our database name So this creates the tables in the sequence and then we will run the master data. So it just inserts the data for the user table so that we should be able to log in. Now let's come back to the root directory of the project and here you will see the form.xml. Now to run this project we just have to issue this command and form set 7 colon run. It already had got a embedded tomcat inside it. So it will put the you know, it will pull the embedded tomcat and will host the web application there. You don't have to install Tomcat separately. So you see here the Tomcat 7 Maven plugin. And now the application is starting up. If you are running it first time, you will actually uh, see a lot of things getting downloaded. So just uh, wait for the process to finish. As I have already run it the many, uh, earlier. So all my dependencies have already been downloaded. So this uh, is, okay, yeah, I think it has already come up now. So now we can just go and uh, take up this URL and click it. You see that this has already been configured for SSL and it is listening at 8443. You can change all these things in the form. And this is self signed certificate. So, and then you see this the login page and you say Lalit and the password, default password is also Lalit. And then if I say submit, it basically goes to a listing page. This is created using jQuery uh, component and uh, it just lists the only user that is created. So you can just use this application to build your things. Uh, now we can also basically uh, let's go back here in setup.txt. So we can we can import it as an Eclipse project also. So for that you have to run this command. And once you run this command, uh, go to your Eclipse environment. I've already imported that one, but what you can do is just right click import and go to existing project into workspace next and browse and go to the location where this project is this, uh, go to the folder where the spring web app, app spring hibernate web app is deciding and you should be able to see that as a project here select it and this project will appear here and uh, then you are in the in the eclipse environment to work with and then you can see all the different files here the spring context files are sitting here so uh, this is the context.xml uh, which which contains your uh, all the database configuration and things like that uh, then there is this uh, 
security.xml which contains string security and then this mvc.xml which contains the basically the mvc part of that one. The model contains the hibernate based uh, mapping of the uh, table with the classes so that we have just one class user which is mapped to the table users here. And then uh, there is on the front end side there are pages uh, we are using files main.xml so here where the uh, different aspects of files are configured and then you have got all your uh, JSP pages here. Uh, then the jQuery is sitting out here uh, which we are using for rendering our grid and all those things. So hopefully with this application we should be able to get a good idea of how we can build an application with Spring Hibernate jQuery and uh, this this can help us in building a more uh, more functionalities on top of that. Thank you very much.